Alrighty, we're actually going to look at the full layout here. There's no sound. We're seeing that. I watched this before. It was, it's cool. I think it would be neat to then add potentially specific moments where maybe the machinery doesn't work. Where it's not just her pushing buttons, but it will be like something fails and she has to push it again. She punches it or anything that will add some things where it's not just a series of actions, if that makes sense. That's going to be cool. And that's that. All right. I'm actually going to close this. And here is the shot in its current form. That's cool. That's a different jump up there. And then into that. So let me just see. Something a bit sharp in her root, I would have to say. She comes in here. There's some moments where it feels like she goes forward and then suddenly stops where it, it's a bit harsh in, in actions like these. Where I think you can soften that just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. Even through here, you can see as she goes forward and bam, goes down and then kind of stays put and then Bam, here another sharp frame down. If you watch this in real time, it seems just a bit sharp. The, your TY, your up and down just seems a bit sharp. But that's cool. I like that type of jump up. I think as we're getting forward, you can start adding a few more hand poses. It gives a bit of impression of what you want to do with that. Let me just see. You have a... The jump is mostly through here. As in, you could, not that you have to, I mean, this can, this can easily be just a jump like that. And then she gets into this and pushes up. From a technical point of view, um, it's a bit sharp how she bends down and then, bam, and then locks here. As we go up, and then with that sharp move up here. The thing I was going to mention is that she could bring this leg up higher earlier, so that this jump is also slightly motivated by this... His legs swing up. And again, I would just soften some of these transitions. She just feels very sharp on the up and down. I do like the action of push. And if you, but if you push into this, I would potentially exaggerate a little bit. Bring those shoulders down a bit more and you know, something like this. If she's already off, I mean, you could have the finger still there. And on the next frame, that wrist is further back just so really you sense that oh, big push off flatter here and on that that will be okay but you'd flatten those fingers and then same thing if you push off instead of arm out they will be closer in let's see because you're doing straight up pop into a bend and then actually go back the other way and then go back out and then your arm also locks through there with just the forearm moving I think all that could be simplified and cleaned up a bit and you can just have that bah, bah, bah on this there like that next up they're closer to the body still a bit closer and then they start to fold up into what you have here same thing with this arm you see if you push into this finger bend then arm still straight and then start to bend it's good to have an offset in both of these but just watch out. Same thing happens here when they sh when this arm shoots up. Silhouette's a bit wonky there. And then shoots up into one frame up here and then down. I don't know if you need to go that much higher. It could just be a direct action from here to here. But I think that's something I would I would push just that moment of... Whoa. Since she's basically just jumping a little bit and then the, the whole jump comes through her arms. So if that's a whoa, such a forceful jump there i would just push that those arm poses a bit more and even if you have a a big bend down like that just breaking up chest and head actions just a bit more kind of stabilize that knee a little bit it's a bit wobbly yeah it's a cool action it's just it just seems a bit a bit messy that's a bit of a jump cut no it's okay Watch out, some of these poses are a bit harsh. We can bend down more than up, but if this is a wrist can usually do that. But that's a bit sharp. That just gets a bit, a bit IK in terms of 
how much this is moving, but then the wrist is locked in comparison. But even then, I would push this because you're really putting pressure there and folding this up where you can bring up that hand sooner. Because it's not like she has to really hold on to that too much. She could also slide down a bit and then move it over down to here. Also possible. This still has that moment, and you mentioned in the email, you haven't gotten too far into this. Right, this is all cool, because I like the actions here, right? The action, that's cool. There's a certain energy and determination in this, and athleticism, like she's done this before, yeah, I'm going ready. And then she gets into this, and the moment we hit this here, it's, it's slow and even. And this feels more like she's waiting at, you know, at the airport, the MB, whatever office you're at. It's like, all right, it's getting kind of boring here. That's what she's thinking, eh, really. Versus, and I know the panel comes up later, but this could also be your moment of, is this where she, you know, it's also an interesting outfit to be in here. So maybe she pulls that down to be, be you know, I don't know, cleaner, or she she pushes up the the fold up um, sleeves. I mean, so maybe that goes here and then pushes up again, just a bit more, adjusts the hair. There's a bit of a wiggle there to be really, really fully in it and comfortable. I don't. I feel like this could be a great moment. Uh, a character moment where we go, all right, now I really know how she feels. She's getting ready. And then this closes. And then, like I said, you know, the actions in the in the layout. Anything that gives us some personality traits versus just an action of I'm sitting down and waiting and that's it. I like that she acknowledges that this goes down by having a dart. Or maybe she knows that this is going to happen. Maybe it could be a slight delay where... You know, it doesn't feel like the head is actually leaning on this part because this part is moving. So maybe this is a pose where maybe she's not that straight and it's a slight lean and she has kind of a lean forward because she knows this is about to move. And when it moves, then she leans back again, meaning that she's fully aware of which parts of the mech are moving and she knows when to move away from them. Just giving a bit more, uh, just a bigger sense of familiarity of I've, I've done this before, I've been in here before and I'm ready. All right, hope that makes sense. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.